become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I thought I would talk about the York Adjustable Chest Crusher. Um, spelt with a K, this was an old school novelty item sold by York Barbell Company and even used by John Grimmick himself for the development of his upper body. I recently purchased this old and quite rare piece of equipment for my physical culture museum and found out that it is so rare that it is not even displayed in the York Museum. So today I'd like to shed light on this rare piece of physical culture history and in the end of the video even give a short demonstration as to how to use it. I truly hope that you enjoy this video. Now as I mentioned this was a novelty piece of equipment sold by York Barbell Company and sometimes called a, the adjustable crusher but otherwise known as the York adjustable chest crusher. As mentioned before it was meant to be used for training the upper back and the pectorals as well as the arms and the shoulders and unlike cable sets which as you can imagine like a TheraBand today you have to basically pull apart your, the action is pulling and in this case pulling the arms apart with a cable set the chest crusher was the opposite motion in that you had to push the arms together as shown in the diagram here we have the man holding the chest crusher overhead and pressing his arms together in a fly like motion basically like a pec deck and therefore working the pectorals and the arms and the shoulders it was actually made out of cast aluminium and had up to five springs for increasing the tension and I just want to quickly read one of the advertisements from Strength and Health magazine where it was advertised. The adjustable crusher, dozens of upper body building progressive exercises can be performed with York's amazing adjustable crusher. Work your pectorals and latissimus muscles from entirely different angles. Develop new symmetry, get broader. Perfect for the man who wants to develop greater breadth and a deeper chest in the privacy of his own room. You get five powerful chrome plated steel springs, enough to give the strongest bodybuilder a rugged workout. And believe me, these are rather strong actually to, to crush together. They are really, really hard. And just to give you an idea as to the kinds of motion that the crusher could be used for, well, as I mentioned earlier with the picture, you could see that it could be uh, held overhead and crushed that way. It could be held to the side of the body as shown in this diagram that I actually pinched off old time strongman because this fellow, uh, John Wood, actually has some pretty decent pictures on some of these old physical culture uh, equipment and, and anything in regards to physical culture history actually. It's an excellent website. And it also um, obviously was held in front of the body. And as I mentioned earlier, it was actually found, um, the, the advertisements that is on the chest crusher was actually found in Strength and Health magazine in the 60s and 70s. But it wasn't really a pushed item by the York Barbell Company. That's why it's so rare. Now once again on oldtimestrongman.com, I found a what appears to be some kind of a poster of the original adjustable York chest crusher. And here we have the many different positions. I mean, I wish I could have actually found the original poster. Um, if I ever do, I might do another video. But you can see that, for example, it is held from the very top position. You can see that the guy is holding it, in, um, I think, in front of his body and crushing it um, at chest level, even though he's holding it um, with the springs facing down near his groin. Then you've got him holding it really low and, and crushing it. Uh, again, with the springs now almost below his knees, then he's holding it overhead. Uh, again, he's, he's in multiple different positions. And you can see the, um, I guess, the flexibility of using such an apparatus. But in all motions, you are essentially crushing your arms together uh, in front of the body or behind your body to the sides, overhead. Uh, in all these kinds of positions, arms stretched out, etc, etc. So uh, in that respect, quite versatile but very similar motions done at different angles. Now what I found most amazing about the adjustable York chest crusher was that John Grimmick actually used it for the development of his upper body. Just read this. 
Grimmick employed various types of training equipment to maintain training enthusiasm, obviously, and to mold his physique. Here he is demonstrating a crusher apparatus, it's actually the York Crusher, a device he occasionally used to boost development of his chest, arms and shoulders. And I mean, you can really see him flexing his arms there, his chest is all bursting out as he actually performs this exercise. So it's pretty amazing to see um, not only the, vers the versatility of this apparatus, but the kinds of names of people that were associated using this piece of equipment. It's pretty amazing. Hi everybody, I thought I would just um, demonstrate how to use the York adjustable chest crusher. First of all, you can see the two handles uh, at the ends, you can't, can't see the second one, but you basically grab them from both ends and crush together. And the way you actually um, adjust the springs is here. We've got a, a metal rod that runs through, you can see through the whole machine here. And you secure it with these bolts on the other end. And therefore that means you can actually remove this rod that runs through see through all those holes there and here in these slots you actually put the five up to five different springs um, and you can secure it both ends it's, it's as simple as that right and so I've just chosen for the demonstration to show you how it's used with one spring and if you doubt if this is an original there you go York barbell it's cast aluminium this is one spring and as I mentioned you can put up to there's the other three and four, up to five different springs um, on the machine and really make it difficult. And of course with one spring it is very easy. I'll just show you the crushing motion like so, right? You can have it in front of you like so, or you can hold it vertical. Can't really see that. Right, you can hold it underneath you like so you can actually see that pretty well and crush the hands together so i hope you've enjoyed a look at this very rare and novel piece of equipment developed by the york barbell company known as the york adjustable chest crusher and i hope you've enjoyed seeing the demonstration and how to actually use this and if you're actually interested in purchasing a chest crusher. A similar piece of equipment is sold by Robert Baraban on shop.handripper.net and again I make absolutely no um, profit or anything out of, out, of uh, out of mentioning this name. I just know that some people are interested in this kind of um, stuff and if you are I guess it's great for developing um, iron bending skills if you want a strong man or if you just want to develop your grip and, and your strength as well as uh, I guess whatever else you fancy, um, you can purchase a similar piece of equipment at shop.handgripper.net. And what's so great about Robert Barabans is that this is the first, um, I guess, crusher that has seven springs. It's the first one in history that I'm aware of. So um, as as far as I'm aware of, the, uh, the highest that anyone has been able to crush on his particular crusher is up to um, four springs. No one's ever dare to go as high as seven um, so anyway that's for those who are interested again i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm and again leave me your comments and thank you for watching if you uh, would like to support my work my acquisition of rare pieces of equipment magazines books etc which i then share on this channel please donate via paypal become a patreon or purchase my courses and books uh, of out of print um, old school bodybuilding information on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com you can also if you like um, give over your books and magazines if you um, want to give them away I'm always happy to accept donations and some people are already doing that uh, and this obviously helps in expanding my collection and in bringing more knowledge to the public about old school bodybuilding and physical culture Anyway, again, hope you've enjoyed the video. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker. 
volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.